thank you for coming back. We are going to touch on waves today, especially we want to know when we have a graph of a wave. All right, how do we understand the graph, use the information, and to calculate the velocity of the wave? So that will be the topic for the day. Now, for you to improve in physics, it's very easy. You and I must be on the same wavelength. Get it? Good. Another reminder to all of you is that in order to improve in your physics, you must keep on writing and answering questions. It is not just reading. If you read and read, you will not improve. You need to write, you need to answer questions, you need to rehearse. At the end of this lesson, you must be able to interpret. You would be able to interpret a graph, okay? the graph of a waveform. And then after that, you will be able to calculate the velocity of the waves. Let us look at one question and we will take it from there. Question number 29. This is a good test question. Diagram 17 shows the displacement distance graph of a wave. Displacement versus distance. And the frequency of the wave is 5 hertz. Question is, calculate the velocity of the wave. Now this question looks very simple. Indeed, it is simple. But if you miss out the main concepts in this topic, you could be in trouble. Alright, so what is it? Let us do some writing and to understand it. Okay, I will guide you along. Now, number one, notice that this is a displacement versus distance graph for a wave. Alright, here is distance. The horizontal axis is distance, it is not time. Okay, so that is number one. So, in order to understand and to calculate the velocity of the wave, first question is, all right, what is the formula that I can use? Look at the formula page. Now, indeed, there are a few formula here, doesn't matter. You have to choose, you have to understand which is a suitable formula. I'm sure many of you will be able to tell me and say, all right, sir, let's use equation number 20. V equals to F lambda. Alright. So what is V? V is the velocity of the wave. And what is F? Alright, write down. It is the frequency of the wave. And what is lambda? Lambda is the wavelength of the wave. It's good to write this down. Next thing to ask ourselves is this. We have to calculate the velocity. Put a question mark for that. Is the frequency given? Yes. Alright, it is given. Put a tick. Is the wavelength given? Okay. Take a look at the graph again. Now that is the catch. We are given the frequency, loud and clear, 5 hertz. Frequency equals to... 5 hertz or 5 cycles per second. So now what I need to know is the wavelength. Actually, the graph gives us the wavelength. What is the wavelength? Now let's look at it. Let me use my colors again. Alright. Let me label it. Now, this is another method to study physics well. Always label your diagrams the different points so that when you discuss, so that when you look at the different points, you will understand what it is. So now I am referring to points X, Y, and Z. Alright? Now look at the graph, okay? The shape of the graph. From point X to point Y, again, from point X to point Y, is it one cycle yet? No, it is half a cycle. From X to Y to Z, I have colored it. From X to Y to Z, it is one full cycle. 
It is one full vibration. It is one full wave, one complete wave. Get it? In other words, the distance between X and Z, between X and Z, I'll write down so that it, we can understand it better. The distance X to Z, from X to Z, the distance, that is actually the wavelength. All right. From X to Z, it is the wavelength. That is the wavelength. I label it lambda. So what is the distance between X and Z as in the diagram? It is 20 centimeters. All right. So this is a very important aspect of the graph of the wave that you must know. And once you have got this, this becomes as easy as ABC. All right. So now I will write down on top here, what is lambda, the wavelength? 20 centimeters. Now, the rest of it is very easy because using the formula, the velocity of the wave is equal to F lambda. All right. So I will just continue to write down on the left hand side on this page. So what is the velocity? F lambda. And what is F? F is 5 hertz multiplied by lambda. What is lambda? 20 centimeters. And what is our answer? 5 times 20, we have 100 centimeter per second. So this is our answer. Now, I'm still not satisfied because I want to teach you something else that not many books will explain to you that way. I will now explain it to you again and show you another angle so that you understand better how to use V equals to F lambda. All right, are you ready? Okay. V equals to F lambda. Now, what is F? 50, uh, 5 hertz, right? 5 hertz. So, I would write down 5 hertz. 1 hertz is actually 1 cycle per second. Okay? So, I will put down here 5 hertz, 5 cycles. I want to write down cycles of 5 waves. Okay? It can be used. Both are correct. We are talking about waves here. So, I want to put down 5 waves per second. Alright? You get it? So, this is 5 waves per second. So far, so good? Now, what is lambda? Lambda is the wavelength. In other words, it is the length of one wave. Alright? And the distance that we have, or rather the wavelength is 20 centimeter. So I would write, like to write down 20 centimeter per wave. Now this is another method to help you understand why is it that this particular formula will give us the velocity. Alright? So, 5 waves per second multiplied by 20 centimeters per wave, wavelength. So now you cancel off the waves. What do I have? I have got 100 centimeter per second. Centimeter per second. So now I am actually explaining more in detail the formula, what it means. Because sometimes you might be using a formula but without understanding. Alright, so far so good? Excellent. What have we done? We have actually helped you to interpret and to understand the meaning of this type of graph for a wave. And secondly, use the information and then we can calculate the velocity of the waves. So with this, I hope that you will use other questions, continue to practice, answer questions, rehearse, and you will do very well. And with this, I would like to say thank you very much once again. May God bless you. 
and I'll see you again the next time round.